Hello everyone, um, it's Michael here. Just wanted to do a quick video um, this morning. Um, I had a couple of questions on, on the thread that I thought I might as well do a video analysis, top-down analysis um, this week, looking at the, the pairs and, and the charts that were asked about on the thread. So Michelle86 has asked about New Zealand CAD euro usd and oil is from a saf door um, and welcome back mr fibo welcome back nice looking trade there well done to you sir okay so let's look at new zealand cad then let's start with new zealand cad um michelle i believe it was michelle 86 i'm not sure what time sequence you wanted but i will do the monthly weekly daily anyway because i think usually that's what you look at and we, we could look it down to the four hour if, if necessary. So you can see that this market is making all time highs. The nearest um, demand zone that I would be interested in would be somewhere like there. That's where all this rally started from. Um, and then looking at it on the weekly, we can see that obviously we're having considered that we're making all time highs, this is the next um, sort of demand zone that would be of interest to us and prices have hit it and have slowly begun to to react to it um, if you look at the daily so that little guy right there is where we are at and we've been reacting off of so this is the situation with the New Zealand CAD you've hit demand with prices in an uptrend hitting all-time highs so you wouldn't be um, wrong to have taken this buy it's not the greatest looking zone in the world um, because of all of this underneath it but it's a very valid trade so I think it I think it's a good trade it's a good trade it's not the ideal the best best in the world but it's good enough um, easily done so I hope that helps you this is what I'm looking at um, the next one was euro USD again well let's see what did you look at um, you looked at the daily charts for potential entries. Well, if we're looking at the daily chart, um, so Euro, US dollar, oh, these are all my lines. We can take this all out. Um, so let's take a look at it from the daily perspective. So you have all of this down here. So the nearest, oh, let's start from the top. What am I doing? <laughs> Uh, let's start from the top. So at the moment we're just stuck in here, so we, we're not really going anywhere very quickly, but this is the area that um, These are the two areas that I'm looking at. This is just goobly gook. It's not really something I'm interested in um, But for you who are looking at it, that's what you've got um, and then on the weekly we can see the, the last video I showed you guys this level on the weekly, didn't I? So that's the that's the supply zone that, that has hit and you could have drawn it easily like that. Um, so that's been hit. There's nothing down here on the weekly if you're looking at the weekly. The nearest area is there and that's not great either because of that long wick but it's a definite valid level. So we're getting close to demand. It's becoming more and more difficult to, to sell. Um, and then on the daily you'll see that's that area there um, so bear in mind look, consider your profit margin when you're taking this trade because there are um, that, that's one consideration um, as well look at how it comes in and see if, if it's worth your while it's not great because of that wick so I personally wouldn't take it as a set and forget and then the last one I believe was oil US oil. Okay, let's take a look at US oil. Shall we? US oil. And you looked at the daily as well. Okay. So let's quickly take a look at the uh -huh. okay. So immediately this is really what I see to start with. I think you probably have a a zone there as well. Uh, be a trend line break. That's not what I want. This is what I want. So 
have demand there prices are sort of ranging through there watch this area though this area might be one of interest it's not great because the move away is is not not good at all but you might be able to get something in there on confirmation then the more obvious supply would be that area there um, so these are the areas that are we're watching on the on the monthly on the weekly you can see that we've had supply created I think it was right there so we have supply created now um, and we're in this big ugly demand and if you wanted to I guess you could tighten it up like that which is what is hit now and is beginning to rally so this is the the weekly view of it um, and then on the daily and then on the daily you can see these are the areas that are if you wanted to tighten up the daily area that's sort of like that so you've had a first retest expected price will come in um, deeper the issue with that though is for the daily traders you have this area still above you which is going to be interesting to see what happens here it doesn't make the profit margin very good at all um, so watch that one okay so that's everything I think um, all the questions answered as after I hope that helps Michelle I hope you understood that um, Michelle, I can tell that your your native language is not English. So when you say, what do you mean about New Zealand CAD? It always makes me smile. So thank you. Every day you, you post something, I smile. I think what you, what you are thinking is, what do you think about New Zealand CAD? I'm not trying to correct you, but I wanted to say thank you for making me smile every time I <laughs> read your posts. All right. I hope that helps you guys. All the best. Trade safe.